everyone and welcome back to another video. That was my old out intro. So let me try that again. Hey guys, hey everybody and welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon. Or should I say welcome back to the new beginning of Game Dev Tycoon. Now, we are going to create, we are going, I don't know if you watched the I Moved video, but in it I said that we are going to restart. I also said that we're rebranding our channel. Now, you guys may have noticed, but I rebranded the channel. Right? So, it is now called AM Buffoon. And it now has a new banner and a new profile picture. So, yeah. But, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay. So my company name will be the Buffoon Makers. Yeah. I'll wait. It's, I don't know why, but like whenever I'm playing with, ah, no, okay. Whenever I'm playing like a game or something, right? Whenever I like make a title for something, I always have to have the first letter of everything capitalized. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. But player name, um, buffoon, buffoon, just just buffoon, I guess. Um, let's see, where blonde hair? There we go. And I go with blue. So yeah, there we go. Let's get. Uh, since you've played the game before, you can choose to use all previous leak game. Hints in this new game. Would you like to import all previously games? No. Ah. Uh, okay, I'll just I'll get I'll overrate pancakes. If you ever want to review the tutorial messages, then you can do so in the help menu. To, okay, I have tutorial messages turned on. So just to go over the game, because like yeah. Congratulations, you have started your very own game development company. At the moment, your office is in a garage and you are the only employee, but don't worry, many successful businesses have started out this way. Okay, let's start developing your first game. Close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Okay, develop new game. Before developing, before development can begin, you can, you can have, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create. And give your game a name. Game a name. You can also select which graphic technology your game should use. Alright. Your options are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you will be able to unlock new options. Alright. I'm gonna name it Pong, because we have a Pong thing over there. Pong. There. Maybe that'll, maybe it'll get me, uh, good, like, reviews. Uh, Ninja. It'll be a Ninja Pong game thing. Ninja Action. Pick platform. Uh, I think that they both do well with action. So I'm just gonna do G64. Next, 2D graphics, V1. There we go. Game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus, picking the right focus for your game greatly increases the points you generate. Think about what areas are more important for your game and to decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. If you want to read a brief description of the game of the different areas, please refer to the help menu. All right. Engine um, for an action game, yeah, that should be all the way up. This should be like that. Uh, for an action game, story quests doesn't matter. I'm going off of, like, knowledge from, like, playing the game and stuff previously learned. Um, so, yeah. Game development has now started. While developing your game, while it, while develop, yeah, while developing your game will generate game points, which you can see bubbling up. Game points are divided into design points and technology points. The more points you generate, the better the game will be. From 
From time to time, there will also be bug points generated. These points become less likely once you gain experience. Bugs should be fixed before the game is released and increase development time and cost. Alright. Now I'll just wait for the bugs. Oh, well, no, I have, I have to do three stages. I forgot about that. Uh, dialogues for an action game doesn't matter. Because, I mean, not really. You know, uh, level design, yes, and our AI, I'm going to say yes, like big time. Okay. During development, you can also select additional features for your game. Right now, you can only pick basic sounds, but your options will increase quickly. Selecting additional features makes the game generally better, but also increases its cost. Alright. You will also see the graphics, the graphic type you selected when you defeat, when you defined the game. This is just to remind you of your choice. You cannot change the type of graphics mid-game. Alright. Um, okay. Graphic for this. Uh, basic sounds. Sound doesn't matter. World design, the actually I don't think world design mattered. Maybe it does. I'm gonna do that because yeah, just just in case. So, I don't know. It's an action game, you know. Wait. Okay, yeah, I'm plugged in. I was just making sure that my laptop is plugged in, because, yeah. Okay, I'm still recording. Okay, sorry guys, I just had to make sure that my laptop was plugged in, because I heard, like, beep, beep. So I wanted to make sure it was plugged in, and then I wanted to, um, make sure that it was still recording. The development of your first game is now complete. You can, you can press the finish button to publish your game, but you should only do, but you should only do that once you fix the majority of bugs. Releasing a game without fixing bugs can severely affect your ratings, so you should only ever insist that if you need the cash and you can't afford to wait. Okay, just wait for the bugs. What's that noise? Treasure Hunter, activate a hidden treasure in the garage. Detective, find at least one of the easter eggs in the game. Okay. Let's wait for a little bit of the design and stuff. Okay. I'll, I'll post it now. Or post it. I'll, I'll release it now. The development of your game has now finished. While developing games, you gain experience and improve your skills. When development is completed, you will be presented with a summary of the experience game. Okay. 1311. Right. Ah. Uh, okay. Your game is now complete and you will be handed off to publisher. We should see reviews and sales coming in for the game soon. Uh, okay, generate game report. The first reviews for a newly released game, Pong, came in. Ah, uh, is it a bad game? Oh, well, it got a 5. It's probably a bad game. It has its moments. Like, bad game for this, but they, they don't like it, waste of time. Alright, well, everybody has their own opinion. Not bad, not good. Mm, I've seen better reviews. I've seen better reviews. But oh well. After publishing a game, you can invest a little bit of time to analyze your creation and generate a game report. Game reports are a great way to gain research points as well as valuable insight to into what works and what doesn't work when developing a game. To generate a game report, close this message and click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Well, I'm already generating a game report. The Buffoon Makers, a newcomer in the game industry, has just released their first game, Pong. The game received favorable reviews. No, it didn't. With such a good start, the Buffoon Makers are sure to have game fans quickly. It wasn't a good start. It was a bad start. Alright. Let's see what I got. Alright, it made 4,915 units in the first week. Alright, sweet. Uh, now that your game is on sale, you will receive the income from the game every week. 
You can see how well your game is doing by looking at the sales graph in the top right of the screen. Alright. Uh, Pong was so successful that we now have 15 fans. Woo, 15 fans! Our post release analysis of Pong is complete and now we got the following results. Ninja and action is a great combination. Gameplay seems to be quite important for this game. Hold ya. Platform genre match G64 action good. Alright. Game reports are great are a great way to, to gain more research points and new insights. It pays off to generate a game report for each game you release. Now that you've really now that you've completed your first game report, it is a good idea to look at the research menu. To open the research menu, close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Alright. Research. Research is important to unlock new options and make better games. You should try to save enough research points to be able to create your own game engine. This will greatly improve your games. Right. Hint, try to develop games with, set, with different topic and genre combinations for a slight research boost. Alright, uh, let's see, surgery, aliens, zombies, um, I'll do surgery, because that seems like it would be like a 2D sort of game thing, you know, so researching that, ooh, 79k, I'm liking that money. You've successfully researched a new topic, surgery. Alright. Develop new game. Um let's see, what should I call it? The oh wait. Instruments of No. Of life. Instruments of life. Alright. Pick topic. Surgery. Pick genre, simulation, pick platform, ah, uh, hmm, hmm, I think simu- I'm gonna go with PC, cause I'm pretty sure that the simulation goes up like, a lot better with the PC than it does the G64, alright, uh, 2D graphics, yep, okay, let's see, engine, um, for simulation, yes, Alright, these are going to be the same, because, yeah, actually, gameplay, and then the engine down a bit. So, yeah. Okay, technology points, we have research points, we have design points. Uh, dialogues, no, not that much. AI, doesn't matter. Well, it's a simulation game. Ah. Uh, since the simulation, I'm gonna say AI does matter. Um, and this like is fine. So yeah. Okay. Pong is now off the market. It sold 12,808 units, generating 89,699 in sales. Alright, world design. Ah, uh, no. Graphic. That. Okay. Um, graphic just takes the longest to go, but yeah, okay. So now we have to wait for bugs, because bugs suck. Okay. Recent market studies suggest that the Governor 64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer the lower price, greater avail availability, and the flexible hardware configuration over the home computer. Alright. Experts say that this might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. Nope. Okay. We need the research points and stuff. So let's wait for those to generate. No, we got a bump. Yes, you fixed the bump. Great job. He did a great job. Alright. Three, two, one, finish. Okay. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna click to make this go back faster. Ah, so close to leveling things up. Gra graphics are almost leveled up. Okay, trash game. No, JK. Ah, okay. Let's just generate game report. The first reviews for a newly released game came in. This is a good game. Fun at stages. You gave me a five last time. Ah, uh, six. Okay, it's better than my last game. Um, seven. Nice experience. Yes, 
This is better than my last game. Eight? Nope, seven. Enjoyable. Alright, that's better than my last game. My last game sucked. This game is good. Okay, 29 research points. Come on, hurry up. According to rumors, the Japanese company Nintendo is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Nintendo is known, is known for the widely successful arcade game Dinky King. Many industry experts doubt that the home game consoles will take off, but we are eager to see what Nintendo will deliver. They take off, yep. Better than most people would have imagined, at least. Okay, we're getting lots of research points. Our post-game release analysis of the Instruments of Life is complete, and we got the following results. Surgery and simulation is a great combination. Engine seems to be quite important for this type of game. Alright. Engine seems to be quite important. Did I give it a good engine? I think I did. Alright. Ah, uh, we have 108 case. We... Alright. Let's, uh, research. New topic. Uh... Alternate history. We'll go with alternate history. You've successfully researched a new topic. Alternate history. Alright. Let's develop a new game. Mandela Effect. The Mandela Effect. Okay. Um. Alternate history. Pick genre. Uh. Let's see. I think. Adventure? Hopefully, come on. Uh, I I want to say the G64 does well with adventure. I'm just like going off of like top like knowledge sort of thing, like from when because I I did like other playthroughs of the game, like other not playthroughs but run throughs of the game, like by on my own, and so I'm just going off of like what I learned from those. Uh, engine. Let's see. No engine all the way down, no shit. Um, engine, that's all good. Um, I, I think, uh, no, I don't think that story is required for adventure. Alright, hopefully, hopefully I made the right decision. Hopefully I made the right call. Today, Nintendo has confirmed recent rumors and announced their plans to release a new gaming console called the TES. Early next year, the console features cartridge-based games and a uniquely designed controller. Yep, that sounds cool. Okay. Ah, uh, you're getting bugs already? Come on, no! <laughs> well, Instrument of Life is now off the market. It sold 13,532 units, generating 94,759 sales. Excuse me, burp there. Um, Dialogues. Uh, no, not, not, for adventure game, I th think that it's, it's, in, like, it's pretty important, but not as important as level sign, and AI, no. Hopefully I'm making the right call, I'm not too sure, I hope I am, hopefully I got the right game, intelligence stuff, I don't know. <laughs> so, sound, um, we'll do that, world design, yes, graphic, doesn't matter, so basic sounds, okay, if this turns out to be a bad game, I'm gonna be super sad, I'm just gonna be like, oh rip, rip bad game report, okay, um, roll in some of the design and the technology they can. Alright, I'm gonna finish it. Okay. We leveled up engine gameplay, level design, graphic, and we almost leveled up my guy. Okay. That's good. We did good. Now, generate game report. The first reviews for our newly released game Mandel Effect came in. Oh no. I've seen better. You, get, you always give me a 5. So. Ah, it's a bad game. No. You can give me a 3. Yeah. They shouldn't forget about graphic. Ah, did I? I. Oh, yeah. I completely got rid of graphic. Apparently, graphic is important then, I guess. Let's see. In the game report. 42. 44. 
Hi there, I've just finished Mandel Effect and I think you have potential. I'm in the contracting bit business and we could use skills like yours. If you are ever short on cash, just let me know and, and I will see if I have some work for you here. Some work for you, Jason. Contracts have now been unlocked. To see available contracts, close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Alright. Uh, that's 40... 46, 47. Okay, our post release anal. Wait, can I go up? No. Our post release analysis for Mandela Effect is complete and we got followed. Alternate history and adventure is an okay com combination. World design seems to be very important for this type of game. Yep. Dialogue seems to be very important for this type of game. Yep. And then the. the um, graphic. So, yeah. Okay. Today the new game today the new game platform TES by Nintendo has been released. Alright, let's make a game for that. So let's research topic. Uh we could do aliens. Yeah, let's go with aliens. Alright. We'll do an alien action game. Cause yeah. So I think that'll do well. An alien action game? Let's see. You've successfully researched a new topic, aliens. Wait. Develop new game. Pick topic. Aliens. Aliens. Toast. Aliens. In hide, aliens in hide. All right, action game. T E S. Yes. All right. Um. Do action games work well? With, like, would this work well with the T E S? I think action games go well with the T E S. Oh, oops. There we go. Alright, 2D graphics, V1. Your bank account is in the red. Thankfully, your bank has enabled you to overdraw your account up to 50k, but be careful if your account balance is below 50k, you will go bankrupt. Oh no. Yeah, this better be a good game. While generating game reports, you start to gain insights into the development process and learn about what works well and what doesn't work so well. These insights are shown as hints on the game development screen unless you have turned this option off in the settings. The hints range from plus 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 to negative negative and indicate how important an area is for this type of game. When hints have a question mark at the end, in example question plus 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 question mark, it means that you have insights from a game in the same genre but but that you are not yet sure whether this holds true for the for this particular genre topic combination. All right. So this matters not as much as the engine. Um. Why? Is, I think. Well, I just felt banging on my floor and heard banging on my floor. So, or yeah, on my floor. Uh, story and quests, no, I, I probably should have added story and quests because it's an action game, I'm an idiot, rip me, okay then, um, this is going to be a bad game because I made a mistake, okay, uh, dialogues, action game, yes, uh, AI doesn't matter, no, yeah, okay, Game off the market. Mandela Effect is now off the market. It sold 8,719 units, generating 61,054 in sales. Okay. We have 44 research points, so that's good. Um, hopefully, we can get out of the red. Okay. Um, world design. 
not as important, actually. I want to get rid of world design, I'm not too sure. I don't think that world design matters that much. Maybe it does. Um, maybe I just should never make a game. I'm, I'm happy I put a lock on that door because I just had my sister walk in and go, Mom wants you, and I'm just like, I'm trying to record a video. My sister is such a little brat. She just came up to my door, started banging on it. She knew that I'm recording a video. Such a brat. But Nintendo is okay. The, the recently released TES home console by Nintendo has proven to be a massive success. A massive success in sales numbers have exceeded expe expectations by far. As one consumer says, I love the games that come with the TES and playing with the controller. It is. And playing with the controller is so much more fun than a keyboard. Alright. Finish. There we go. Alright. Um, level up. Okay, I level up dialogues, AI, world design, sound, and my god. Okay. So. Uh, aliens in hiding, we're willing to offer you a mini credit to get. Um. Well, okay then, rip. The first reviews for a newly released game, Aliens and Titan, came in. Oh, come on. No, is this, is this not a good game? Four, uh, yikes. Four, they shouldn't forget about AI. Fun at stages, alright. It was an okay game. Uh, let's generate the game report okay so 55 research points 56 57 all right 58 9 okay our post release analysis of aliens and hiding is complete and we got the following results aliens and action is a great combination sound seems to be quite important for this type of game all right well that, that sucks. Well, we just have to take a blow. We have 94k at least. Um, so I'm gonna end this video here, guys. If you liked it, make sure- wait. Yeah, 29 minutes. I'm gonna end this video here, guys. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, sub, comment. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! You still deserve to Thank you.